Hey honeys, welcome to another cooking tutorial. I am doing garlic herb chicken today and we're baking it. And um, so I got my Tyson boneless skinless chicken breast. All right, so I got two packs of these. I'm gonna be cooking, uh, I got two packs of these, but I'm only gonna cook four with seasoning because uh, my kitties love chicken. So I'm gonna save two pieces for them. And then I'm also using Webner Roasted Garlic and Herb Seasoning. So I'm going to try this. I know you guys can't see it, but that's what it looks like right there. All right, and you, you can pick this up at your local Walmart. I got it for like $4.50. And we're also going to put some um, butter on this. I'm going to put some melted butter on top of the chicken. So that's what we're doing at the moment. But I'm going to um, I'll be right back once I clean the chicken Put the chicken on the aluminum foil and bada boom, bada bang. Can I wait to see you guys back? All right, honey. So I already got the chicken on the pan. So I'm going to put, um, put some butter on top of it. Put some butter along there. Okay. Because, you know, we got to butter this up. It's kind of like a turkey. Got to butter it up. Okay. Uh, this is the melted butter I just put in the microwave. All right. So, now we're going to take our seasoning. And we're going to rub it all in. We're going to sprinkle it on here. You know, we like our chicken with seasoning on it. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to rub it in. Flip it. Get some of that. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put it in the oven for um, 350 for 30 minutes. I mean, 375 for 30 minutes. Damn, I'm about to forget how to cook there. So there's the rub. All right, honey, so while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and saute some bell peppers and some onions. Plus, I also got to make a pan of cornbread. And then some fresh asparagus and mashed potatoes to go with it. Uh, the mashed potatoes, I'm only doing like the um, the baby reds, the Idaho potatoes instant. So that's all I'm doing. There's one thing I hate about chopping a damn onion. And that is when it makes you cry. Whew, I hate that shit. So we're getting ready to saute the onions and the peppers. We're going to use this kind of olive oil. I can't pronounce it. Bertolio, but it's great for sauteing, baking, and frying in its extra light version with an extra light taste that meant. So we're going to do this. Well, maybe it'll help if I open this shit up. All right. Ooh, must have been a great year like they always say. So we're going to put some of our in our pan. All right, got some in our pan, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, honey, so now we're going, I got some bell peppers. The onions is already in there, um, sauteing, but I'm going to go ahead and um, dice some onions, I mean onions, dice some peppers, and get those ready to be sauteed as well. All right, honey, so the sauteed of the onions and the peppers is almost done. Looking real good. All right, honey. So the um, the chicken's done. I've already cut through. Always make sure you cut like a little slice to make sure it's tender and stuff. Look at this. Look how tender that is. And all right, and we've already sauteed the mushroom. I mean, not the mushrooms, but the peppers and the onions. Those are already sauteed as well. Those will be going on there soon. But next, we got to make the cornbread. So I'll be right back. 
All right, honey, so we're going to go ahead and make the cornbread. So I've already got two cups of the Martha White cornmeal in the pan already. So we're going to go ahead and get two eggs out. So what else we get? We need some two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So let me get two tablespoons of vegetable oil. All right. So let's see. One, two, and um. We're going to go ahead and add one-fourth to the skillet. One-fourth of um, oil to the skillet. Now cornbread, I have not cooked cornbread in a long time. So we're gonna just scoop it around the pan. I know that much. All right, so there we go. Um, buttermilk, we're gonna add one and one third cup of buttermilk to it. Okay. All right, and now's our favorite part. Now it's time to stir it up. Better yet, I'm just gonna do like this. I'm just gonna stir everything in here. And you just gotta keep giving it a good stir. So now it's time to pour it into the pan. And you want to make sure you get all of it out. Because you don't want to leave none of that filling in there. Cause you know me, I just love getting all that filling out of there. So there we go, honeys. So we'll just smooth it on out. All right. And it's gonna go into the oven. Um, I'm just gonna have to look at the timer again and see what the direction says because I've not made cornbread in so long. So I'll, um, Put it right here on what's the timer but I know it's 400 I want to say 25 minutes but I'm gonna check all right so it's 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes on 400 for the cornbread so after that all we have to do is cook the fresh asparagus the fresh asparagus and then get the cream potatoes ready and then the meal is complete all right so I'm, so I also learned the process. So if it doesn't work at six o'clock, bring that bitch to three o'clock and maybe it'll come on. Cause I'm sure it's coming. All right, honey. So I got the fresh asparagus already um, chopped and um, I've already washed them. So here we go. And we're eating healthy tonight, honeys. All right, so that's that. We'll let that simmer. And then um, we got the mashed potatoes going. Those are instant, so they won't be a problem. But 
Nothing should be a problem though, so let those simmer. Mashed potato be done. Dinner. <laughs> Damn. So I want to cut into this cornbread to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, let's see what it looks like, y'all. Dang, come on. God, this should be a blooper, honey, instead of a video. All right, so we're going to raise it up. I know, I just butchered this whole stuff. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Honey, so I think this meal turned out fabulous. We got the roasted garlic and herb baked chicken. We got the cornbread. Look at that cornbread. Look at the crust. Oh, my goodness. We got the um, the sautéed bell peppers and Valdelia onion. Then we got some asparagus over here that's boiling. And then I'm just waiting on the mashed potatoes, you know, to put the packets in there and everything after it gets to boiling. And then voila, that's a good meal right there, honeys. Hey, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed the dinner that I fixed. If you guys want to see me cook more dinners, comment below. Love you, honeys. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, let's get to 100K followers, well, subscribers, by the end of the year. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment what was your favorite dish that I fixed during this mukbang. Don't forget to like this video. Follow all my socials. It'll be in the description box below. If you guys want a cameo, it's a personal shout out. It's great for Father's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, or hell, just to cheer somebody up. Go ahead and click um, click it in the description box below. Love you, honey.